Hey what is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gran Turismo 7 Update 1.40 car reviews. We're moving back into the modern vehicles this time with the cars from Brand Central and I'm going to review the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon from 2018 today. Yes, essentially a street legal drag car, an absolute bonkers version of the Challenger and perhaps one of the most exciting model muscle, modern muscle cars in recent memory. So let's dive into it. As always, we'll start at the price point for this vehicle. So we're going to head over to the Dodge dealership. Now this is where you can find the Challenger SRT Demon. As you can see, it retails for 200,000 credits in terms of the overall PP P rating it's 624.20 840 brake horsepower and that ridiculous massive supercharger that comes attached to this thing now in terms of the car reviews if you've never joined me for one this is how it's going to work we're going to do a lap around the Nordschleife in the standard version so straight out of the dealership then we'll put all the upgrades possible and lap it around the high speed ring both of them will have a lap time leaderboard where we can see where the vehicle ranks so let's get into talking about the demon itself so the Demon in itself, I would say, is perhaps the most, I guess, talked about of the modern muscle cars, especially from the sort of revival that we saw anywhere from sort of the late 2000s into the, you know, present time, really. I'd say the Demon definitely stands out for probably having the most media coverage of any of them. You know, I remember when this thing was announced, it caused an absolute storm. You couldn't go on any website or anywhere around the sort of car scene, really, without hearing about what Dodge was pulling off with the Demon. Obviously, it essentially a street legal drag car it was just absolutely ridiculous the facts and figures that you know were being put out for this car were pretty unbelievable even still a few years later don't really seem all too real for the likes of the challenger it was just absolutely ridiculous and it still is and well it's obviously finally in gt7 so how is it so let's start off with just talking about the performance itself and then we'll go into a few little facts about the car so in terms of gt7 i would certainly say it's not really a track racing car but then again it's not meant to be yes this has a lot of horsepower yes this thing's really sketchy to drive even in the most standard form and yes it's very very fast acceleration top speed you know we can't really talk about the vehicle without touching on those they're absolutely ridiculous for any kind of standard in quotation marks version of a vehicle or stock version should i say it's just absolutely mind-blowing how thing you know how fast this thing will just literally accelerate and hit those top end speeds it's just bizarre but obviously the downside of that is that it is a very sketchy car to drive it's certainly not one for a very you know i guess unconfident player you will really need to be confident in your abilities to get the most out of this thing as you can see around the nord life i'm just constantly having the rear end break away i'm constantly trying to manage the throttle to make sure that i don't light up the rears and it starts trying to spin around on itself it really is a sketchy vehicle to drive but certainly a ton of fun and in all honesty i don't really have to say much more about the standard version in terms of you know how it drives and how it plays with in gt7 so it's time to start throwing the facts at you about the demon itself so it's not to 60 time as you could guess is absolutely ridiculous 2.3 seconds from a standing and i believe from a 30 roll it'll do it in around about 2.1 840 brake horsepower from a 6.2 liter Hemi engine its quarter mile time is 9.65 seconds with a speed of 140 miles per hour yes it can pull wheelies no I couldn't quite get it to do it in GT7 unfortunately and it essentially runs on street legal drag tires which I guess in a sense although it kind of looks like it is in in terms of how it appears as a model in GT7 I think because of the tire compounds themselves it doesn't actually really mimic those street legal drag tires um, for obviously gameplay's sake I'd assume but yes this thing really is absolutely bonkers and I love it for that so as you can see we're over on our lap time leaderboard now for the demon it falls in the 700 pp category which i believe is the highest we've seen so far of any of the already reviewed vehicles comes in eighth place overall ahead of the gac maverick a time of seven minutes 25.009 um, again just a few seconds down from the likes of the maserati mt12 which is rather quite impressive also just down on the times of a group four race car and that is coming from a car that's essentially built to do a quarter mile not necessarily throw itself around one of the most technically challenging tracks 
on the uh, on the planet. So really quite an impressive time from the demon. No real complaints there. Ridiculous power, ridiculous performance. Really sketchy drive, but on a whole, a very fun car. No upgrades needed. And now I want to say a big warm welcome to the demon's party trick. Although this car on paper appears to be a, a bit of a one trick pony with the right modifications and upgrades in GT7, you can turn this into a very, very fast, very, very grippy and very, very capable race car. I'm surprised to say that this thing came out of nowhere and very much surprised me. It's absolutely insane. If you add the right era on and you just absolutely push the power through the roof to make it even quicker, this thing is perhaps one of the best, I sort of, I guess, race or street versions turned into a race car that I've kind of ever seen in GT7. So obviously we're at the high speed ring, which is very much going to suit the top end of the Demon itself. It really does hit way over 220 miles per hour with these upgrades obviously no fine tuning uh, for these vehicles but what surprised me is just how good it actually handled the corners as well a set of racing soft slicks for this thing and a ton of aero trying to get it down and suck itself to the floor really did help it at those bizarre top speeds it was surprising how much it kind of transforms this car from a street legal drag car into a full-blown race car it was very very good and perhaps one of the biggest transformations i've ever seen from a car in gt7 history usually you can sort of predict what a car's going to do once you start getting the upgrades on and how it's going to behave and how it's going to perform but the demon itself just kind of came out of nowhere and said do you know what I'm not just a one-trick pony, watch me do a lap of a track at some ridiculous speed. And that's exactly what it did. A very, very impressive car, and honestly, probably the surprise of the update for me. I expected it to be good, but nowhere near this good. So overall, it com comes in on fifth place on our leaderboard, as you can see, 804.92 pp. Still a little bit off the Dodge Viper GTS 02, which is just an absolute legend in terms of fully upgraded performance and uh, same there with the more modern Dodge Viper but that was never really the purpose of the Demon. This thing's kind of just come along and said, you know what, I can do more than one thing and to me that is the most impressive thing about this car. You really can sort of get a build for almost anything with the Demon. A very impressive vehicle and I'm very happy to see it in the game. Like I said, for me, the absolute surprise of the update and not to mention the ridiculous power this thing puts out. So yeah, I'm happy to report that the Dodge Challenger Demon is not just a one trick pony. It can be a track car. It can be a street legal drag car. And I really am left with zero complaints all about this thing. So if you're anything like me and you sort of shied away from the demon thinking that it will probably only just do straight lines, then, you know, I am pleased to report that, you know, you can give this a go and you will probably have a great time driving it. So there we go. Only two more cars left to review, that being the legendary Lexus LFA and the Porsche 911 GT3 RS. So, yeah, welcome to the game, Dodge Challenger Demon. You really are the surprise of the update in my eyes. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. I We'll see you tomorrow with another video and we'll continue the car reviews in a few days time. Thanks so much. Take care guys. Peace.